in trouble and you need someone to help you out there's no need to whistle and there's no need to shout hey 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 help is on its way Sammy the Echidna ran his general store like clockwork and he always opened up at the same time every day to welcome his customers. That's because Sammy had some help from a little friend. Thanks, little bird. That's right, it's time to open up. Morning. Morning, Sammy. Sammy had grown used to having the cuckoo clock in his store. The little bird popped out to help him keep things running on time. Well, Alice, what can I get you? Meanwhile, at the Koala Brothers' homestead, Mitzi the possum was running late. Morning, Mitzi! Morning! Fancy joining us for toast and honey? I'd love to, Buster, but I've got to get to Sammy's store. She must really be in a hurry not to want toast and honey. Yeah, she must really need her groceries. But Mitzi wasn't in a hurry to get her groceries. Yay! She had another reason for wanting to get to Sammy's store fast. Is it going to come out soon, Sammy? Any second now, Mitzi. <laughs> Morning, little bird. You really love that little bird, don't you, Mitzi? Yeah, I do. It's so pretty and it makes such a happy noise when it pops out to say hello. Oh, I'd love to have a clock like that more than anything in the world. Well, why don't you have it then? Really? Like, take it home and look after it? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Sammy. <laughs> Though Sammy was very fond of his cuckoo clock, he liked nothing more than making his customers happy. Would you like it wrapped? No thanks, Sammy, but can you put it in a bag? Mitzi couldn't wait to surprise everyone. Hey, everyone, guess what I've got in my bag? Uh, a tin of billy beans? A big red rock? Nah, not even close. Um, can you give us a clue? OK, but you've got to close your eyes. Mm. You should be getting a clue right about now. Sammy's clock! Yeah! Sammy gave it to me! Isn't it beautiful? Oh, wow. wow! What a nice present! Sammy's very kind. I know! It's the best present anyone's ever given me! Well, I'd better show the little bird to its new home. <laughs> Though Sammy was pleased he made Mitzi happy, he was beginning to miss the friendly tick of his cuckoo clock. Oh. 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 Hi, Sammy. Uh, I'm ready for our little lunch break. Oh, I'm starving. Oh, is that the time already? I, I haven't made the sandwiches yet. Oh. Uh, uh, sorry, George. Uh, I'll go and make them right away. Without his cuckoo clock, Sammy had completely forgotten what the time was. He'd never missed his lunch break with George before. Oh, thanks, Sammy. It was worth the wait. A pleasure, George. Well, I suppose we'd better get back to it then. Um, isn't there something missing, Sammy? Oh, you want dessert? No, no, the, uh, the little birdie, the one that cuckoos to tell us lunchtime is over. Oh, uh, sorry, George. I, I gave the cuckoo clock to Mitzi. Oh, I really liked seeing that birdie. It was the best bit. Well, thanks for lunch, Sammy. Uh, I'll see you later. Bye, George. <sighs> later that day, the Koala Brothers arrived to get some fuel and drop off their grocery list with Sammy. Hi, Frank. Buster. Fill her up, Josie. To the top, Frank? Right to the top, thanks. Oh. Josie, are you all right? Mm, it's Sammy. He looks a bit sad. Maybe we should go and see if he's OK. Oh, thanks, Frank. No trouble, Josie. We're, We're here, here to help. help. 
Oh, good day, Frank. Buster. Hi, Sammy. We've brought our grocery list. Uh, everything all right? Hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh. Hmm. Could I ask you a question? Sure. If you had something you really liked, but you gave it to someone because they really liked it too, it'd be wrong to ask for it back, wouldn't it? I uh, guess it would, Sammy. Yeah, uh, I thought so. Ah, uh, well, I'll better get this little lot together. Shall I deliver tomorrow morning? That'd be great, Sammy. Josie was right. Uh, Sammy did look a little sad. The Koala brothers couldn't help feeling Sammy's question had something to do with his cuckoo clock. That night, all was quiet on the homestead. See you in the morning, little bird. Night, Frank! Night, Buster! Night, Mitzi! Night, night then, Buster. It looked like it was going to be a long night at the homestead. The next morning, Sammy was ready for his early morning grocery delivery. Is he coming? Morning, Sammy. Oh, good day, all. You're early this morning. Uh, actually, it's you that's late, Sammy. Everyone's been waiting for you to open up. Late? I'm late and I haven't made my deliveries yet. Oh, dear. I'm really sorry, everyone. Don't worry, Sammy. I'll look after the store. Oh, thanks, Josie. I'll be back as soon as I can. Without the cuckoo clock, <laughs> poor Sammy didn't have a clue what the time was. Bye. He really relied on it to be on time. I say, where's Sammy's clock? Back at the homestead, Mitzi's cuckoo oh. clock had kept everyone awake all night. Oh, good day all. I'm sorry I'm late. Morning, Sammy. Oh, morning. Uh, in the kitchen? Oh. Thanks. Huh? <sighs> What's wrong, Sammy? Oh, it's the cuckoo clock. I, n I know it was a nice thing to do to give it to Mitzi, but now it's gone from my store, I can't keep on time. I really miss that little bird. Oh, I wish there was something we could do to help. I know. But what? Mitzi really loves that clock. Morning, Morning, Mitzi. Sleep well? Nah, I didn't sleep a wink. Was it the cuckoo clock? Yeah. You know, I really love that little bird, but you can't keep it quiet. Have you thought that maybe the homestead isn't the best place for it? Oh, yeah, I suppose. But it was a present from Sammy. If I gave it back to him, it might hurt his feelings. I've got an idea that might suit everybody. You have? Hi! Good day, all. What can I get you? Uh, uh, can you hear a ticking noise? Mitzi's got a favour to ask you. Sammy, this is the nicest present anyone has ever given me. But I was wondering, could you keep it for me in the store? Uh, are you sure, Mitzi? <laughs> Yeah. Ah, well, I think that's a wonderful idea. And I know just the place to put it. Uh, yeah. uh, there. What do you think? I recognise that toy. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks to the Koala Brothers, Sammy was happy again. Sammy realised that the right place for the cuckoo clock was where everyone could enjoy it. And from that day on, Sammy's store was always open on time.